Hi, Coffee Beans. How's it brewing? I realized that even though I was so excited for the April Elves box, I only ever did one project from it, which was the swivel seashell locket from last week and earlier this year. So today I'm going to be making the star box from the April Sophie and Toffee Under the Sea Elves box. I'm also going to be attempting to put these fairy lights into the box. I've never tried anything like this before, so I'm not sure it's going to work. And frankly, I'm worried I'm going to waste the lights. For this project, I'll be using the Starbox mold from Sophie and Toffee April Elves box, one-to-one -one epoxy resin from Envirotex Light, Leave Me Know UV resin, various pigment dyes from Sophie and Toffee, this amazing glitter from Martha Stewart, Pearl X powder in blue, fairy lights from the Sophie and Toffee November Elves box, and tiny magnets from Daiso. I have no idea what size these are. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll put links to everything I use below. And if you like the Sophie and Toffee molds I use, I have a link below for $3 off your first Elves box. To get started, I mixed up my one-to-one -one epoxy resin. I like to start in one cup and stir the two parts together for three to five minutes. Then I pour that into another cup, scrape the sides, and stir that for another three to five minutes. I'm going to do the lid first, and I want this one to be semi-transparent. I added a drop or two of Sophie and Toffee's teal pigment, as well as a bunch of the Martha Stewart glitter, and poured it into the mold. Then, using the leftover mixture, I added some blue Pearl X powder and more Martha Stewart glitter and stirred it all together. Before pouring it in, I dropped a magnet into the mold for the bottom of the star box. Then I poured the resin over it, as well as into the two hinge pieces. And I left this to cure for 48 hours. Now it's time to demold! I love how this mold allows the pieces to come out matte rather than shiny. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intimidated by this mold. I hope I can make it work. I mixed up a bit more of the same resin color and poured that back into the mold for the bottom of the star. I'm doing this so I can create a little cavity for the lights and battery pack to go into. I only filled the edge of the star so it's more of a ring and not a solid piece. While that's curing, I worked on the lid of the star box. I added some film to the inside of the star that looks like water. This film came in the April Elves box as well. I applied it with some UV resin on the bottom and another layer of the UV resin on top. Then I added these really cute stickers to some shaker film and coated them in UV resin so that they can float around in the shaker without getting ruined. I added some pretty crushed white seashells and some glittery nail embellishments. These are both from Sophie and Toffee as well. Then I added my sticker charms. And to add the film, I put a thin layer of UV resin around the edge and placed my film on top, cured it, and then added another layer of resin on top of that to make sure the edges were airtight. Once that's all cured, it's time to add the shaker oil. I cut a small hole at the top of the film so I could put my syringe bottle in. Then I filled it up slowly. I love watching this part. Then, because the hole I cut was way too big, of course, I cut a smaller piece of film and attached it with some UV resin to make the entire shaker top airtight. Then, I domed the entire thing in UV resin and cured it under my light. Perfect! I love how it looks! She looks like she's riding around on her inner tube. <laughs> Man, I wish I was there with her. Getting a nice tan with a delicious mojito. Yum. Now onto the bottom of the box. I want to make this piece so it can hide the lights and battery pack. 
So I traced the battery pack onto the bottom of the star and then took it out to my garage to carve. Thankfully, I have a Dremel tool that I can use to cut into the resin and carve away what I don't need. Be extra careful if you attempt this though. Wear a mask and eye protection, and if you have them, wear some good gloves. And go slow, it could easily slide around and cut your hand. I also added a little hole in the top shaker portion for the other magnet, where I marked it with paint. Perfect! After I was done cutting everything, I gave it a good wash in the sink to get the dust off. And now we can start piecing everything together! I placed the battery pack in, making sure the lights were coming out the other side, and making sure that the top of the pack was facing out, in case I ever need to change the batteries later. And then I permanently attached it with some UV resin. Then I began to slowly coil the lights onto the battery pack and around the star, keeping everything in place with small pieces of tape. Ta-da! This should all be secure now! Now, I realized after the fact that I could have used hot glue to stick these pieces together, but oh well. <laughs> I applied a thick coat of UV resin all around the edge, and then pressed my two pieces together while curing it under my UV light. I rotated the piece several times to make sure the light was reaching all of the resin. And last but not least, it's time to attach the lid and hinges. First, I secured the magnet in with my UV resin, and I double and triple checked it was facing the right direction. <laughs> then I applied a layer of UV resin on one side of the box, and then pressed the one hinge on, curing it under the light. Then repeated that for the other side. Truthfully, this was nerve-wracking for me because I was really worried it was going to accidentally stick the lid to the box, and then it wouldn't open. But it worked just fine. Look at how awesome this box is! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that I accidentally waited this long to make this mold. <laughs> For one, I've been really wanting to use these fairy lights. And two, I've been really wanting to make this box. And then it just hit me. Why not combine them? I absolutely love how it glows, too. It looks like she's floating in a little jacuzzi. Get this girl a mimosa! <laughs> I wish I could show you guys how great it looks lit up, but of course the camera doesn't do it justice. I'm trying all sorts of video editing and color correcting. <laughs> this project might have been the most difficult or time intensive thing I've made in a while, but it was so much fun and so challenging. I love it so much. And it's the perfect size to hold my necklaces or maybe some candies at work. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I try making this box again with a different theme? Let me know in the comments below! If you liked this video and would like to see more, make sure you give it a thumbs up! I love your feedback! And don't forget to subscribe while you're here and click the little notification bell so you know when a video goes up. I post new videos every Monday at 9am Pacific Standard Time. Don't forget, if you've ever wanted to try a Sophie and Toffee box, I have a $3 off link in the description below so you can save a little money and try something new. Thanks everyone! I hope you're enjoying the last bits of summer before fall weather. I know I am! And Halloween is just around the corner. It's definitely my favorite holiday. See you soon! Love you a latte!